In this video, we'll go over some basic functions of the NEC DT800 series telephone. On the right here, we have a circular directional pad, which if we use the up and down, it changes the contrast of the display slightly. Left on this D-pad will take you to your redial list, and if you press it again, it will take you to your missed calls list. Use the up and down buttons here to cycle through. Pressing the exit button in the top left will take you out of any menu. Right on the circular pad takes you to your common speed dials. These are programmed on the system. Again, you can cycle through these using the up and down. The speaker button puts your phone on hands-free mode to use a speaker and the built-in mic. The transfer button is used for transferring calls once in a call, and the hold button is to put a call onto hold. The menu button here takes you into the menu of the phone. Many of these functions can be found in the DT800 series manual. The mic key, which is usually lit, means the mic on their phone is working for hands-free. You can turn this on and off by pressing the button. The line keys here, 12 or 24, depending on your model, can be programmed for speed dials or functions of the phone. You can press the help key in the top right here. Comes up on the display saying check. Press the line key and it'll tell you what it is. This one's a line key. This is line key 5. This key is for your headset. And this is showing that it's a speed dial, a one touch speed dial. If you've got one that's not defined, that means this key can be changed or modified to how you want it. To change the volume of the speaker, you put the speaker on and use the up and down buttons on the circular pad, as shown. To change the loudness of the handpiece, again, pick up the handpiece and use the up and down buttons. You can see the handset is on display. To change the volume of your ringtone whilst the call is incoming, use the up and down buttons to raise and lower the volume. 